morning, everyone. So welcome again to Spacecraft session. Very happy to see you guys this beautiful Saturday morning. And for today's session, it's about evaluation. And you might have heard that feedback is the is the breakfast for champion, right? And Toastmaster is full of feedbacks, and you might have experienced this in the past two sessions of the speech graph, right? When you provide some speeches, and some of our guides, all of our guides, give or some evaluations about your speech, what you did well, what you might need to improve, and why am I presenting this today? Is that uh, I was informed that you guys, the speech crafters, will deliver your own evaluation in the future session. So today, exactly, I want to uh, share how Toastmasters do evaluations. So I hope you're ready and let's get started. So I structured the content for today's presentation in, let's call it three M's of the evaluation. First is we'll talk about the motivation. Second is the mindset, and third is the method of doing evaluation. And I'll go through the first two quite rapidly because I was given just five to seven minutes. So let's go through the first two quickly and let's focus on the third one. And let's get started with the first one, which is motivation. And what's in it for us? What's in it for the speakers uh, for doing this evaluation? Motivation as in purpose. So what's the purpose? So first is for the speakers, right? For this speech speakers why, why do we value first is to let them know their weak points weak areas and also the blind spot right because often oftentimes when we create speeches we feel like oh this draft is already perfect but then we give to other people oh there, there are still some improvement points there are always improvement points and that's that's what we call the blind spot and doing evaluation we let the speakers know this blind spot and the second one is less obvious but we also need to let them know what they did well, because if they don't know what they did well, then probably they will not be consciously continue doing this in the future. So it's also good to let them know what they did well. So, okay, they know this is good and they will continue to do it in the future. So those are probably the two main purpose of doing evaluation for the speakers. The, now, what's in it for the evaluator themselves? I believe there are also some benefits for them. First, but it's more for practice purpose, right? First is to improve your critical thinking and problem solving because if validating speeches require some analytical skills and you will train exactly that when you evaluate other speakers. And secondly is to learn to be diplomatic when giving feedbacks. This is particularly important when you're in the workplace, you're trying to give feedback, particularly some feedback related to improvements. It's not really pleasant. It's not really positive. And you need to deliver it in a diplomatic way. So doing evaluations will allow you to practice these skills. Now let's move on to the mindset. In life, in a lot of things, we wear different hats for different occasions. So we might wear a very analytical hat, very critical hat, and sometimes we want to be a good person. And in Toastmasters evaluation, it's very important to know what kind of hats you are wearing when you're evaluating someone. Now, let's get some illustration, right? You might have seen the judges in MasterChef, right? Do you want to wear this kind of hat, like being very critical, providing mostly negative feedbacks, very minimum nice words? Or do you want to be like a judges in AGT? Oh, it's just as simple as I like this, it's a yes. I don't like this, it's a no. So I believe it's none of these two in Toastmasters. And in Toastmasters evaluation, I would like to think myself as these two person. First, as a movie reviewer and also as a consultant. Now, what, what is the difference between the previous two? First is the, we don't have to be a pro. Right? The previous judges, they are all experienced performers. They were experienced chefs. But in Toastmasters evaluation, I believe you don't have to be a pro. So movie reviewers, for example, right? They can give some critiques. They can say what's good about the movie, but can they make the movie themselves? Probably no. Consultants, they consult people on the businesses, how to improve their profits. But can they actually make the business? Not necessarily. 
And I would like to think based on these two hats. So again, just remember, you don't have to be a pro to give reviews and to suggest improvements. In this case, it's more important to have an improvement mindset. But that's an asterisk there. It does help if you have the skills and experience, but it will come with time. And again, what's more important is to have this improvement mindset. So for Toastmaster evaluation, I'd like to wear these two. Now, just the key points here for the mindset is to always remember to be respectful. You can use the sandwich method, so positive and then improvements and then the positives. Second is to be honest. If the speech indeed needs a lot of improvements, then don't re don't say it's excellent or perfect. You can say something softer and give the feedbacks later on. Third is to be specific. Give some reasoning because human beings need proof. So when you say something, provide proof to back up your for, for example, suggestions, you have these suggestions, give some reasoning why you are suggesting those things. Or is to po focus on positive wordings, right? So wordings matter in delivering evaluation, in giving feedbacks in real life. For example, you have, in Toastmaster context, you have an excellent body language, but you need to improve your structure. Or you can say it in a better way. You have an excellent body language and to further improve your speech, you can strengthen your speech structure. Notice the two different nuances when we say these two things, right? So wordings do matter in Toastmasters or in. So those are the first two M's I would like to share, which is the motivation. And so the mindset, let's get to the meat of the presentation itself, which is the method. Now, for the method of evaluation itself, there, I believe there are two main components, which is first is the structure of your evaluation. Second is the content itself. So structure relates to the way you deliver the evaluation in terms of the steps. And the content is this evaluation you give itself. And because of the time today, I would like just to go through the structure because content is also more on the more the more you evaluate, the more you improve on the content. But for the structure, I would like to give some introduction for you to get started. So let's get started quickly. And this is the summary table. I know it's a bit busy slide, and I would like to go through this one by one quickly. So though, there are four main, uh, I would say, parts right, in evaluation speeches. So it's pretty much like the speech organization in your speech uh, that you you've been doing in the past two sessions. So it's the same opening body and conclusion, but the difference is in the body, you separate into positive points and improvement points. So let's get, let's go through this quickly because of the time. So first is the opening, right? So what's the purpose of the opening is to set the mood. And also it's for a good show because it's still an evaluated speech. It's still a speech. So you need to get some opening going on. And what you can say here is your general feeling about the speech and also your impression about the speech. So you can say something like, ladies and gentlemen, after I listened to Mr. X speech, I remember a lesson from my mother, blah, 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 blah. And Mr. X, you delivered an inspirational speech because blah, 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 blah. That would be an opening. I would like to spend only around 5 to 15 seconds, not too long on the opening, because we are going to focus more on these two things, positive points, and improvement points. So for positive points, as I mentioned in the beginning, we want to know what their blind spot is, and we also want to know what they did well, which is the point of this structure. So we want to, in this case, deliver ideally two to three positive points that we get from the speech. So, and remember, remember, always give reason on why we think it's a good thing for them to have this. So for example, we can say, your speech structure is solid because during your speech, I can easily identify the structure because of the keywords you use. So there is the what, and that's the why. So remember to always use this in delivering the evaluation. And I ideally spend 60 to 90 seconds for this part. Next is the meat of your evaluation itself, which is the improvement points, right? This is to know the weak areas and also to provide some ideas to the speakers. Again, this is two to three points, ideally. And for this, ideally, you provide the what, the why, and how to improve. So for positive points, it's what and the why. For improvement points, what, why, and how to improve. So it's pretty much the same. 
but add the how. Give some suggestions, not just why it's not really good, but you give some suggestions how to make it better. It will, you will ideally also spend 60 to 90 seconds here. And lastly is the conclusion. This is to summarize all your points and also to give encouragement. So for example, you could say, you could summarize the points that you have given. So you can say three suggestions, one is blah, blah, blah two is blah, blah, blah. Make it a sort of version. And then you give some encouragement in the end. So overall, it's a very good speech. It's an excellent speech. I, I enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing your speech again in the future. So it also took around 5 to 50 seconds. So those are mainly the structures of the providing evaluations. And you can use this as the uh, starting structure. It's not the only structure. It, you can use this as the first guidance, and you can customize going going forward. And just a quick summary on the three M's. First is motivation, is to improve the weak speaker's weak points, also bring awareness to the positives. On the mindset, remember, wear the positive hats, but you don't have to be a pro. Improve the mindset matters more. And for the method, you can follow structure and then the content will follow. And that's just to close this, remember, evaluation is a gift that we give from our, it's a gift from our the evaluators to the speaker. So remember, don't be shy. Just if we just think about that, okay, I'm giving a gift to this person. So just do it with your heart and I believe you will do well in evaluation. Uh, back to you.